Hey, this is Prophet Fowler of the Ministry of Joseph House. I just want to take a few minutes to share some uh, things with you from uh, the Bible, some things you may know, you may not know, and it's dealing with that of dreams and visions, but mainly with dreams. And a lot of times we hear, especially from uh, this uh, Western society, when it comes to dreams, uh, most people are very skeptical, especially even, even in the church, the body of Christ, where uh, you tell them that you have had a dream and they say, well, maybe you, you had too much peace last night or what the case is. But do we realize that in the Bible, the Bible speaks many times of dreams and dreamers. We knew that Joseph was a dreamer. But today I want to share something with you from uh, a particular perspective of uh uh, of someone in the Bible that we know that's very, very popular, and that is uh, King Solomon. You know, you hear a lot about King Solomon, his wisdom and uh, uh, his insight and certain things that what he've had. Now, a lot of times we don't realize that his wisdom actually came from, well, I'm not going to say it's total wisdom, but largely his wisdom, it came from a dream. God had to get in the Bible. We see that when we deal with, in fact, 1 Kings 3, uh, the third chapter and uh, 3 going through uh, the 15th verse. We see that where Solomon had came up against some things that was uh, pretty tough for him. It was his time as far as taking over the throne, the kingdomship. And he had said something to his father. He said, uh, well, he'd said something as far as prayer to the Heavenly Father uh, related to some things that it was just more of a burden than what he could handle. And he was saying that you've been so gracious to my father and certain things from that aspect, which I'm afraid, uh, par paraphrasing. And he said, now here I am that now I'm going or to walk into his footsteps. And his thing was he was so overwhelmed and saying that, you know what, I don't have the wisdom or the insight and he said, Lord, really, what I want to do is just lead your people. Just lead them with a righteousness, a heart, and just really do right. So the Lord has granted him, he has said to him that, well, Solomon, because you have not asked for riches for yourself or uh, your enemy, the life of your enemy, or revenge, uh, certain things from that perspective, and he's seen the heart of Solomon. So in the dream where Solomon was overwhelmed about certain things, he gave him the gift of wisdom. Now, now watch this. I'm not saying that all of the wisdom that Solomon had was just, okay, just one day he had a dream and the next day he woke up and this man now was supernatural and had all this wisdom and insight. But what I'm saying that, of course, it took time. He went to schools of learning and things from that aspect. And you should always, you know, constantly uh, look to grow and better yourself and educate yourself uh, from books and things from that aspect. But don't forget about what God can do, the wisdom and insight. So he can take certain things that what you know are certain information and give you wisdom and insight from that, that perspective. So that's the thing that I really want you to see. Now, here's another thing. Queen Bathsheba. Now, Queen Bathsheba, uh, back in the day, listen, she was very wealthy herself, uh, a, a, a very intellectual woman and everything. And she wanted to see this guy, Solomon, that she heard so much about, about his wisdom, his insight, and certain things that he had. And uh, so when she met the man, the reputation, fact, most times you hear about somebody, and you a little, wow, you know, th this thing was blown up, so to speak. But she was even more impressed by meeting the guy, not only just through his wealth, his wealth, but also was his wisdom and his insight and what he had. And I'm saying that a large part of that or some of that had came through a dream. Look in the Bible, the Bible says that, where he did, God gave him supernaturally a dream. So what I'm saying, I'm saying this, that, the next time you come up against certain things, right, realize that you can pray for wisdom or you can receive a gift through a dream. Now, there's many things that what we're going to be dealing with in the ministry of Joseph House is just many things. We're going to take it. We're going to break it down. Precepts upon precepts as far as dreams, interpretation of dreams and other things from a prophetic perspective. Listen, listen, this is no crazy, spooky thing. This is biblical. What have happened? In our society, in the Western society, we don't believe in things like that anymore in dreams. And 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 now from the Eastern, from where uh, it's been created from the biblical time and even now, 
All right. They believe in dreams and visions. If we're going to be Bible believers, we can't just cut out the spiritual aspect of things. You know, it's almost now what happens is everybody else, every cult and everything else is more spiritual than what we are. You know, if it's not just about, well, how much uh, uh, money or give me my money or give me my things, so to speak. And that's all good. Prosperity is good. But wisdom and the things from the spirit realm is what you should really begin to seek after. Watch this. So in all, what was it? It was a gift of wisdom. The things now, friends, what's happening? We're running around. We're looking for uh, 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 things and everything else and and uh, situations in our life may be materialistic things. And we think that those is going to be the answer. Uh, but what you really do after you gain knowledge and then some of us go to some of the higher places of learning and it's still not enough. But after that, you need wisdom. So wisdom can come many ways. Wisdom can come in a dream. And so I just want to share with that. And that's the things that we're going to be dealing with uh, in the future. And also look at my, uh, uh, come and check out my library on uh, 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 Facebook. We deal with dreams and visions and things from that point or that aspect. So if anything, I always like to leave uh, uh, towards the end, leave you with something, I guess, to uh, to have you begin to start thinking in those terms or really leave you from a perspective of saying that, wait a minute, let, let me look at this from a different perspective. Now watch this. If anything, if anything from the aspect of, uh, of, of uh, the moral of the story, I love to say the moral of the story. What is the moral of the story? Well, wisdom is better than riches and gold and wisdom and an insight. Realize that the Lord can give that to you through a dream. God bless you. Love you. 